welcome to Classic Confections. I'm your host Kendra and today I have to do some ripping and running in the city and I thought I would take you guys with me. So I rarely leave my neighborhood <laughs> since the pandemic so this is truly like a, a rare occasion so one of the things I have to do is not so fun um, but I thought you know what I'm gonna make the day out of this so you guys get to come along but first let me show you my outfit. All right, peeps, like I said, I am mostly ripping and running, so nothing fancy. I have this huge oversized white shirt <laughs> that I got from H&M. I love tops like this, and I have like so many in my wardrobe because it's just easy to like toss on. I don't really do sweats or like, I don't like to wear like leggings and athleisure when I'm going out, especially out in the city. So this is like my version of sweats. <laughs> So yeah, I'm wearing this big oversized shirt, um, a pair of black road tripper jeans that I got from Madewell. And then on my feet, my favorite, my bass legions in the two-tone that I think are so geeky chic. <laughs> And then I just threw on my matching uh, black and white earrings that I got from J. Crew, and these made well necklaces. So that is today's ensemble. But it looks a bit smarter when I when I you know zhuzh it up with my trench coat. So let me show you guys that. All right, peeps. So this is the full look. It looks a lot smarter, like I said, <laughs> with the trench coat with the pop collar. I got my stow crossbody bag. This trench coat, by the way, I believe is from Uniqlo. They have the best trench coats and there you go see this instantly looks more pulled together <laughs> when I put the jacket on so without further ado we are off so I am out here in the city um, I had to meet with an oral surgeon I have to have my wisdom teeth pulled <laughs> so I just had my CT scan and met with the doctor but I decided after that ordeal I would treat myself to lunch out at one of my favorite restaurants Italy in New York City so I'm going to have the Agnolati del Plin, which apparently is braised pork and beef filled pasta. And I'm going to do a Lambrusco flight, which is sparkling red wine. I'm going to get a tasting of three different ones. And I thought I would take you guys along with me because I'm dining alone, but not alone because you guys are here. <laughs> ready to dig in. Alright, so I wasn't gonna get dessert at first, but who could resist this tiramisu? Ooh, I am so excited. peeps dinner was amazing i'm so glad that i decided to stop and treat myself i used to dine out alone by myself like often um that was like one of the things i like to do but um since the pandemic i've been mostly stuck at home with the fam no complaints there <laughs> but it was nice to have some time alone especially as an introvert so to be quite honest i'm a little bit buzzed from the three glasses of wine <laughs> so i think i'm gonna walk it off before i go home so i have a bunch of stuff from h&m that i need to return and i'm gonna try not to buy anything else from h&m <laughs> we'll see um i'm in chelsea right now so there's a couple of stores around here I like i might stop into the white company which is interesting and club monaco like i usually find some good things on their clearance racks so let's do that let's check out what they have in the shops So one of the things that I like about the White Company is that as soon as you walk in, it's just so calm and peaceful. 
They have lots of great home fragrances like these reed diffusers and they have sleepwear and bedding. Oh, this looks so cozy and this blanket is so soft. <laughs> and they have kids clothes. Yeah, just beautiful, British, simply stylish. And of course, you know your girl had to buy something. So I haven't stepped foot in the Sephora or bought any makeup in months, so I'm gonna step into the belly of the beast. <laughs> I really need a new moisturizer, so that's what I'm here for. And I found exactly what I wanted. All right, I know I said I wasn't gonna buy anything at H&M, but everything is so cute. Oh, look at this sweater with the pearl beads. You know I love pearls. And this sweater, look at the details on these buttons. It's so fuzzy. And this bag. I've been looking at it online in person. It looks kind of cheap, but this sweater is gorgeous. It's like a Cezanne dupe. Love it. And this jacket I've been stalking is an Isabel Morant dupe, but they only have an extra, extra large. It's gonna be way too big. Ugh. This sweater, I'm tempted, but I think I'm gonna be strong. All right, peeps, we are back at the ranch. It got late and I was like several blocks east of my train, so I wound up taking an Uber home. But I wanted to come back and show you guys the goodies that I bought while I was out. But before I do, I just wanna say this. That was my third time taking the subway and going out into the city since the pandemic started. So yeah, ever since what, like, March 20 something when everything got shut down I've been out <laughs> in the city like on the subway and all that exactly three times and this is my third time trying to film it and vlog for you guys the first time was over the summer and honestly the city was like so dead I got immediately depressed as I was filming, like a lot of my favorite stores were closed and like there were just no people in Midtown, it was like a ghost town. And I just, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even wanna share that. Um, it just, uh, it kind of like shook me. The second time was like maybe a couple of weeks ago, I tried to film and uh, <laughs> I was going to a friend's outdoor uh, birthday party, a birthday dinner. And I ran into like the middle of a Black Lives Matter protest or not, I don't even know if it was Black Lives Matter. It was just like an anti-police protest is what I ran into. And it was so chaotic and kind of scary. And so like, I didn't want to be up here filming like, hey, YouTube, um, <laughs> in the middle of an anti-police um, brutality protest. So I just kind of like, <laughs> hurry to get to my destination um it was getting kind of heated and then I just kind of like I was kind of flustered from that and I just forgot to film so <laughs> that being said today's outing was a win I you know despite having to meet with an oral surgeon um I got to go shopping which is like one of my favorite kind of like pastimes I mean no secret here <laughs> I got to go to one of my favorite restaurants have a nice little meal have some time to myself so I'm just glad that you guys got to come along with me and I I don't know if I'm going to be regularly going out into the city but I do feel a bit more comfortable now going out like people are wearing their masks um the subways are like cleaner than they've ever been you know a lot more things are kind of opening up so I'm hoping that leading into the holidays especially we can kind of resume some sort of normalcy so we will see but in any case, I digress. You guys want to see what I bought. <laughs> so let me show you. So first off from the White Company, I got something I've been meaning to try for a while. So I love candles. I have so many candles around the house, but I've never tried a diffuser. So they had this really cute diffuser set. So I will show that to you guys. Okay, so this is the diffuser set that I got. It's called Calm. They have like a whole fragrance section. And this one, oh, I love it. It smells like an expensive hotel room. <laughs> 
um and i just thought this would be so great i'm trying to make like this cozy environment because we've been spending a lot of time in the house and i know this winter we're going to be spending even more time so i want to make our home like really cozy and just like as spa like as possible so i love it it has sage cedar wood and juniper so it's very light very relaxing very calming it's called calm so yes i'm very excited about this one and i might even get one to put in the office because i've been spending a lot of time my husband and i working from home and so just to have like a relaxing environment just to kind of like you know get your zen on especially these days so that's what i got from the white company and that would make a great holiday gift Ooh, and another thing I want to show you guys that I bought recently, I didn't get it when I was out today, but it's sitting on my desk, so I wanted to just show you guys. I teased it if you look at my um, posts on YouTube, you kind of maybe saw a glimpse of it, but it's from Chloe, and it's these sunglasses that I have wanted for so long. I had the knockoff like dupe pair. I bought a pair on the street, broke them, bought another dupe <laughs> on Amazon. My husband found them for me. And then finally I saw these and I was like, you know what? I wear these so much. I might as well just go ahead and invest and get the real thing. So here they are. And I got these for a steal. But they are the Chloe. Carlina sunglasses. Can you handle it? I love these so much. So, you know, your girl has a big head. So these on most people are like oversized sunglasses. Um, <laughs> like really oversized sunglasses. But on me, they just look like normal. But I love these so much. I love the little concentric circles. Um, I got the brown gradient, which is what I love. And uh, they were worth every penny. Oh. And then from Sephora, I got some much needed necessities. Oh my gosh. Um, so first of all, I've been looking for just a very gentle moisturizer. Because my, my skin is pretty, you know, it's pretty okay. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I just haven't found like a good moisturizer. So I went with this uh, First Aid Beauty. And they were having a deal. So the moisturizer itself is usually $24. But if you spend $4 more, so $28, bucks, you get a moisturizer and a face cleanser. And this is their Pure Skin with Antioxidants, Non-Comedogenic, Safe for Sensitive Skin. And so the sales associate highly, highly recommended this for so, me. So I like to keep my skin regimen pretty simple. So I will test these out for like a couple of weeks and I will let you guys know my final thoughts. And then next from Sephora, two things. I mean, you guys can see my eyebrows. <laughs> Um, I've never been like an eyebrow girl, but, but I did at a minimum get my eyebrows threaded like at least every month or every other month. But you know, I'm not going to get my eyebrows threaded. So now. I got some tinted brow gel from Anastasia and this, I love this. I use this, I've been using this for years, like probably going on like 10 years I've been using this. So Anastasia tinted brow gel and then they did not have my new current favorite mascara which is Guerlain mascara they didn't have that in stock so I went back to an old favorite which is Dior show blackout I used to wear this for like years and years and years I only switched to Guerlain recently because um the Dior, I didn't even realize this, but this one kind of dries out a lot faster. I've been using it for years, so like I just thought that just that's how mascara is. But apparently, um, yeah, this one <laughs> dries out faster than other brands. That being said, I don't really care. I kind of love it. So <laughs> I got the Dior Show Blackout. And that was it from Sephora. And lastly, I know I told you guys that I did not want to buy anything from H&M, but you know, your girl couldn't resist. So <laughs> I returned the items and I almost made it to the checkout line without buying anything else. But then I saw this gray jacket dress <laughs> and I could not resist. This is so cute. Ooh, you know what? I want to try it on for you guys. 
All right, peeps, so here is the shacket. So this one isn't like the other one I showed you. That's more like a coat um, that I previewed in my previous video. But this one is like very lightweight. And it's it's a dress. So you can see it has like a little split on the side. And I know it doesn't look like much now, but I know exactly how I want to style this. So I have my little gray beret. And I have another one this color that also has like little pearls on it. So I'm going to dress it up with that and maybe like those Paris, Texas, those snakeskin boots um, or just fully monochromatic. And I have like a pair of gray suede heels that I might wear with this. I think it's going to be so chic, especially with the beret. And if I have like my little side um, ponytail, side sweat pony. Ooh, All right, guys. So there you have it. You know, your girl could not go into her favorite store and walk out empty handed. That just it wasn't realistic. <laughs> So anyway, as always, thank you so much for tuning in, hanging out in the city with me, listening to me talk about my new dress <laughs> and my other goodies that I picked up. As always, I enjoy making these videos. So if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I put out videos like this weekly, sometimes twice. And until next time, stay classy and stay fabulous. Thank you.